Hello, this is Kiriki Show back. After a long while, I know I haven't gone back to the Pokemon game, but well, the Tahomon because I've kind of gotten bored of it, and it was way too long. So I'm gonna do a different RPG that's not as long. Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. Let me just fix up my name here. It should be obvious. It's like Dragon Quest, but it's not. If you've heard of the new one, Joker, it's kind of like that, but very old. It's very fun RPG. It's not too long. It's pretty fast. So just sit back and watch as I go through this part. I'll probably be done the first world by the end of the segment. So here we are. Starting off on the boat on the way to the first land where we keep all our things and where most stuff sometimes happens. Right now, I just have to kind of go talk to the dad, well, our dad in the game, and that's all we have to do here. Then we just have to go back to Terra, talk to her, and obviously Terra's her little sister. I know I'm going right past this, and I can't go to start menu yet, so. Let's just go here. I might be speeding up some parts that are just long, like here. Let's just speed it right up. And there's Great Log. So we just start off. It's nothing really special here until we actually get to go to our first world. By the way, I, I'm going to use some cheats, but not big ones, just to get the monsters I need for um, my ending. It's which I'm just gonna have up to seven stars for my team. The highest for one single guy is four, but I'm gonna have two twos and one thirty. Yeah, so it's not that bad and I'm only going to be going up to level 36 as my top level and then I'll automatically have to breed or I can't go any further okay here comes the two mischievous makers Warbu and Prince Kamiha if I pronounced that right probably didn't but I know I got Warbu right he's kind of like a guard a mischievous guardian spirit of the land, if I remember that correctly. He was a... I believe he was a bad guy in one. I don't know, I didn't really play that one that much as I should have. I got bored halfway through because it was too straightforward. And you're just making more mischief. Which they'll even do to us in the, like two more places up here. And then we get to start our incident. Now we just come in here, we come for the food that her um, mother wanted. Come back out here, now as you see, they're blocking the way, so you don't go that way. You come down here, they're blocking again. You talk to Prince Kamiha, he talks about him being the prince and whatnot, and the great luck spirit, huh? And then he smells your food, and then he takes it. And then we fight over it. And obviously what's gonna happen here... Just, there we go. Follow them down into the well. Just come down here, and now they're fighting over it. And again, obviously we know what's gonna happen here. Gonna keep fighting. Then of course her little sister comes in and this is when the incident begins. The plug or whatever that keeps this island afloat has been broken. And Maru being a guardian spirit or elemental spirit of the land will um, take it up for now until we can find a better plug. 
And now, you're just telling us of what's going to happen if we don't get a Monster Master in time to help him go to a world to get a good enough plug. So we just start by asking these guys in red, and they don't want to help because he's a bit of a jerk. So they don't want to help him out, even though this island is going to be doomed if, he don't, if they don't. You talk to this guy, you automatically have to, which I believe is completely cheap later on. He's a good shopkeeper, but he believes your liars later on when the island doesn't start to sink. But after end game, he actually opens up. Now you talk to your dad. He obviously doesn't listen because it's just ridiculous that the island just sinks out of nowhere and he asks us to bring back the food. Talk to the mom, get the food. Now we just talk to, them, talk to her about the Warabu story as well. And we start moving on again. We go back to Warabu saying that we can't get anyone to help. Instead, you know the rest. Nothing else to do here, and then we'll be off to our first world after we get our first monster. And it's not really good. No one believes, because you're not really trustworthy, Warabu. What do you expect? So instead, we'll go. And then we get our first key, which is to the Oasis. Or my team will start to come together. Strange how this game isn't freezing up and before it kept freezing. And that's and he also gives us the key to come back here at any time. If you need to. So and now we'll need a monster to get going with. So we go back here. Talk about how we'll have to go off to get the things, but Terra doesn't really think they both should go, so... Here's our first monster! It's a slime named Slash. It's pretty okay for a starter, as everything else will basically be worse than him. Yep, now we just... have him... Saying how much I have potential and everything, you know, the usual game talk. I should actually have checked if this thing's working properly, but I already tested it and it sounds alright. You should still be able to hear her voice perfectly. Hopefully. Now we just talk to her, she gives you a healing item. And then you go talk to the dad. Oh, before I do anything else, because this is going to bother me later. Fast tech speed. Now we talk to the dad and he gives us a pork chop to capture wild monsters, but we're not going to use that. Instead, I'm going to go up here. Uh, get on my cheats. Here's my cheats. I'm just going to have auto join and monster encounter. But I'm not going to have those on right yet because I don't need anything right at this moment. I'm only going to be probably using it for one monster in this world. The only one that I actually care about. Oh, and, uh, plan, no charge. Okay, now we're off to Oasis. A very good starting off level where everything is very easy for you to beat. So here we go. Random pixels. And here we are. Oh god, already? So we have a cacti ball here, just... It's a plant type, it's really fast. Well, not too fast, but fast. Not really good HP, but it comes at a good high level. Like around 6, that's if I can actually get it, which I probably won't. <coughs> of course I didn't. We're most likely gonna get a spot slime. So, go for that. Oops, no. Oh shit, what the hell? What the hell just happened? Get her, um, come here, a 
believe there's a uh, yeah, beef jerky. It's another. It's a weaker one than pork chop. That's all I needed here. We continue down. I'm gonna look for a spot slime. No, just another cactus ball. It's not being fair today. I usually only find spot slimes. And I'm almost dead. Come on, join me, darn you. Okay, I grew a level, that's pretty good. No, he does not want to join. I'm gonna heal up. Got a good amount of HP going on, shit. There's a spot sign. Now, if I'm right, it should auto-join. Or not, it's not being fair. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I need at least a spot slime for a, a special mission later on. It's not really needed as it will automatically be there after the game, but it's fun to actually trigger it to happen a different way. Let's get more food. I need at least three monsters to continue. Oh dear, oh Crispin. Should be able to kill this very easily. It would be a lot easier if I had more than one guy, though. Okay, I'm turning on the thing just to get three dudes. Do 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 do. Auto join. Auto join. More herbs. Keep us nice and healthy. There's an oasis. Oh, the oasis. We got a tail eater here. Let's just try to kill this without dying. Probably one of the best monsters here. Not really good in HP, but actually one of the few guys actually have an ability to use. Which will come in handy after. Got another herb. Oh, and I sent him home. Shit. I'm not paying attention here. Give me a crispin. Or you can give me a cactus ball, whatever. That was quick. Oh, name you where the hell. I don't care. Now I have two dudes. Finally. Now I'm gonna make something male up here. It's gonna be the first guy to my main team after I get up here. Walk around here for a few seconds. And there it is. He is a very, very good monster to have in this level. Oh god, I won't even probably be able to finish this. No. Time, um, I'll just name you Cobra. Because it's what you are. No, not Cobra. Oh, fuck. And yes, we want you to join our team. Starts off at level 1 because he's very, very good. I'm just gonna change you to command so you don't waste up your good, very good ability this far. Okay, we're just gonna kill you and get you. You can go back home because we don't need you right now. There's only a few monsters you need in this game to actually beat it. There's two for the next game. And, I mean, the next world. And that's basically it. Yeah, I didn't get Crespin, so I'll just get you. And the first boss will be coming up soon. No, we're gonna send you back. So, I basically got everything in the overworld, so I'm just gonna... turn this crap off, so I can battle more things. And we're going back. Should I be doing...
30 minute long, I'll probably just do 20 minutes, so I'll try to get as far as I can. Alrighty. It's already past the 15 minute mark on my thing here. We gotta go see the king. As soon as all these monsters get out of the way, I should... I'll start skipping these in the next video. So don't worry. Let's go up. No, we want to go this way. I want to talk to this dude, and he'll say he needs a circus performance, so... We'll help him. We just need the three monsters to do this. And now we do a little dance routine thing of our... My guy is jumping through a flaming hoop. Very amazing. I'm just gonna skip this up. Skip, skip, because the same thing all the way through. That's it, he's impressed and stuff. Now you can go see the king. Then I go ask him about getting a plug. And he, it just happens that he has one. But I have to do him a favor in return to see if there's any problems so he can actually get the um, approval by everyone. And because everything's going, going bad for him, so if he can help, he can get all the respect back and be a true king. And yeah. When you go out here, there's only one person you have to talk to. Just right down here. Come down here. Oh. Talk to her. And that's it. You go back. Go all the way back. You tell him about it. He calls the person here and it says that's really nothing to be concerned of, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's around there. It says it's really nothing to be concerned about. But the, the king wants to go check it out. So now I have to go back to the first town we entered a little while back. Oh boy, oh boy. No! Piss off. Skip, skip. Skip. Come down here, we go back to the place where I found the beef jerky. And we just come in here, he's saying to get out of the way, I don't know why he would be getting the way of the king anyways. Goes down to the canal. Um, I'm actually gonna use this food here on Cobra to lower his wild so he'll have a better chance of listening to me. Now he only has wild 9. And then we come down to the final big question area. I'm just gonna put the auto join back here because there's three dudes down here that I want to get. So I'll have everything in the whole entire world. There's a giant worm, you kill that. Cobra grew level. Yes, we want you to join us. No, we do not want to take you with us. Well, I could have. Shit. Oh well. I have a better guy to come with us, anyways. There's another pork chop, but I don't really need it. What do we got now? Okay, we got a mad candle. That's what I want to join us. Kill that. See, that was really quick. I don't care what you're named. There, now you got a good balance team here. Gotta switch your plan over to command, because I don't want to have to keep making you want to do what you want. I want you to do what I want to do. Kill you. No, I don't want you to join me. There's an exit bell over here, and there's our first boss. He's not even that difficult, even without King Cobra. Anything new? Nope. Let's kill you. No. Uh, let me just turn off the cheat because this is not an auto-join boss. 
because it'll even make bosses join, so shut that off. So he's making up a dam because of the problem back at the oasis. I shouldn't really be skipping through all this, but yeah. And now we just poison him and he'll automatically die in a couple turns. He only has 99 HP, I believe. We attack. 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 Actually, I should have made you use a fire move. Oh god, you did a lot more than I expected. But he'll be dead in probably the next turn. And Cobra's already dying a good amount. And... yep, there, he's dead. Got to level 4! Awesome. 5. Cobra to level 3. 4. And Carol will probably go to level, yep. But so... Oh god, 2 levels. Okay, now we promise that we're going to go back to the Mirage Lake Oasis to save everyone that's there. Yes, yes, yes. So now I'll go back and he'll give me the title bell. Let me just do one more thing here. There's one more monster I want. And I'll get it. I'll probably skip until I get it, unless this is it. No, it's not. It's a spooky, so... Just give me a minute. No, I want a spooky. There you are. Let's kill you. Get you to join. And that's every single monster in this land. We'll set for the next boss, which will auto join. Um, yeah. Let's shut that back off, as I don't need it. Nope, shit. Let's go back and go to claim our reward. Go follow him, follow, takes us down to the treasury room, and it's all gone. Stolen by a bunch of thieves. Now we have to go and look for them, which they are at Mirage Lake. He's going to get all the people to help, well just these four. Just the Duke and his lesser guards, and he himself also goes. Which is weird, because when they actually go to the Mirage Lake, they... they're just... they're not there. Do I have a beef jerky? No, I have the pork chop. Eh, I can waste it, I don't care. I usually use the beef jerky for this, but we just had to come down to this prisoner. He's one of the peep one of the thieves. Just hand over some of the, f the food that you have. And you get the water call. This will make the oasis water appear at the oasis when you go there. So yeah, I'm, I don't care that this can go as long as it wants. I'm just gonna speed up going there. Speed. Speed. Piss off, go away. Piss off. Oh shit, went too far. See, they're here, but... Now the water vanishes. But after I make the water come back, they all vanish and they're never to be seen. They're no longer here. They're supposed to be coming up here, but they just don't. So you got more Beveren dudes. And we got... A monster an evil monster master up here. He's very simple since we have good old Cobra here. He only has 250 HP for his monster which is a curse lamp and he's looking for the ultimate monster that's been promised by the demon lord of Limbo. So here he has just a curse lamp. He's not that special of a boss. 
It's just gonna be a few turns. And then that'll be the first level done. Attack. Attack. Fire. Really no strategy this close to the beginning of the game, but later on there's gonna be a lot of it. Because the HP and difficulty of everything you come across will be very difficult. And now I just have to basically just keep attacking until this thing dies. Used upper, got more defense, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, I got a crit, especially. <laughs> Probably already down to about half. Or dead. That's awesome. So that's that. And that's our first level done. Yes, Curse Lamp, you want to join? Sure, I... Change you. And that's gonna be our team for today. And now everyone... Now everyone appears. Big help you guys were. I had to do everything myself. You go and they... Beat the living of crap out of... The thieves... Screaming for their boss to help them, but... No. Now they're all taken in. And taken to the jail. Then we are finally rewarded the title bell. And then he thanks us. Then he leaves. And then Warabu echoes through the world. And brings it back with his magical powers. And then, of course, we test out the thing after healing our party. Test if it works. But, of course, this is way too early in the game for it to be done. So, obviously, it will not work. And it has magical power to it that allows us to go on water. Which, down in the canal, there are some extra items that you can go and pick up. And it will help you later on in the game. Now he tells us of another key that's right here in Great Law that will bring us to the next world that will help us. But for now, I'm just gonna save. Until next time, people. Bye.